We're back with a new kind of higher learning at some colleges that teaches students how to operate drone aircraft. Drones, of course, have been highly effective and controversial in Afghanistan. There's controversy as well over their emerging civilian uses, including journalism. NBC's Tan Trung has more tonight. At this pristine nature preserve tucked away in central Missouri, a flutter of activity, snow geese on their winter migration. I can't explain how beautiful that is when you see it with your own eyes. The next best thing is to see it with video and, and view it that way. Bill Allen is a journalism professor at the University of Missouri. His students are using a new tool to tell this story. A drone outfitted with a camera flying above the plains. Missouri's journalism school is the oldest in the country and now among the first experimenting with this new and controversial technology. Why? The drone's ability to access remote, dangerous areas. You're listening to KBIA. Fueled by a $25,000 grant secured by a local radio station, young reporters are learning new ways to cover stories. Breaking news, natural disasters, floods are a big one because it's really difficult to get around on foot in floods. It's new technology for an old profession. We're, we're using the drone to just sort of tell good stories in a unique way and sort of get a new angle on things. And I think, Liter yes, literally a new angle. At the University of Nebraska, students are using drones to film the effects of drought. The Platte River has become a long sandbar. And it's not just students. Real estate agents outside Los Angeles are using drones to showcase properties. And the opening scene of the latest James Bond film, shot in Turkey, featured footage captured by drones. While the interest in drones is taking off, there is a considerable amount of pushback. Not everyone is ready for an eye in the sky. Privacy advocates are worried. At least 33 states have considered laws that would restrict drone use. Federal regulations allow hobbyists to fly drones below 400 feet over unpopulated areas. But Congress has ordered the FAA to open the airspace for commercial drones by 2015. We are at the start of an experience similar to the introduction of the printing press, the steam engine, or the computer. While the story of drones in the U.S. is still unfolding, these students may be writing the next chapter. Tom Trung, NBC News, Columbia, Missouri.